hello friend welcome back in our previous video i have created some of the route for the admin right that is a three one is the logging and logging owner and then the dashboard great and also i have created one of the middleware and into this middleware i have already put some of the condition i registered this middleware everything is great now i want to do and actually create some of the view file okay that means when you access our this logging form that is the index method will be executed in our admin controller that is the index method right here i want to then to return some of the page so if you want to return this page uh, i want to do i want to create some of the view page for our dashboard for our logging and the register right like that is in our resources and there is a view and with the view area better i want to do and to create another new folder for the admin i just name it as the admin okay that will be one of the admin folder and into this admin folder first of all i want to create two file okay simply just understand i think you already know about it just i want to create some of the view page like i name it as the admin underscore master okay admin master dot blade because that will be one of the blade file i simply created and also that the another file i want to create another file as an index i simply open it click as a save as i name it as the index.blade.php okay i simply created two of this file now i want to do and to load our theme okay that is our theme file and into this theme file there is one of the folder as a panel and into this panel there is the asset and here the all that our css jss images everything is in here now i want to do first of all i want to copy it okay copy this panel now go to our project so that is our project directory into this project directory that is a public here i want to do to paste our this folder as a panel folder here you can see there is a panel folder so now that will be load all that css jss images everything for our this template they have some of the images they have some of the css they have some of the js everything which will be loaded okay you can see it's now successfully loading it's now successfully loading great and you can see it's now successfully add our this folder right friend great so that is our first job then we have to do we have to take all that our static data like if you open that index html into this index html if you open with the sublink text and you can see there is all that static data so here they have some of the css file here we have to update all that our link for the images we have to update that link and also they have some of the js data okay now first of all i want to do and to copy everything i copy everything from the index.html right now we don't need this and in our master okay into this master blade here i paste it great now we have to do we have to update all that our panel so here i have already added this panel in our which place i have already added this panel in our public right if you go and there is a public you can see there is a panel so if you want to access this public in laravel what exactly you have to do then that will be as a asset remember that will be as a asset asset means that will be started from our this position okay that means that our public and into this public then our rest of this path will be just like that same right here we don't need to change anything great so now better i copy it and now i want to up apply the same things before every panel here we have to update it rather than that will be not get any path paste it and also there is some of the loading gif here i paste it okay select at a time with shifting that control now click as enter it's successfully added now one by one we have to actually update now i want to do and to cut it okay simply cut it from here and after that public then simply our panel folder asset folder images everything will be same okay now i want to do the same things for every our css i cut it with the single quote here we have to paste it okay here you can say means that single quote uh, that will be obviously on the single quote okay that means that will be on the single quote great and then there is our another one i simply cut it i cut it and then into the single quote here i paste it and simply cut it and here i want to paste it i simply cut it and then i want i don't want to actually escape this video here i simply loaded everything there is also c style i cut it and here i paste it and then there is the images i cut it and also i want to paste it great so friend there are also some of the images better i want to do i hope you already know that uh, procedure that procedure will be same okay i cut it right now and then that will be another one as a paste it i paste it now again that will be as a i simply cut and then paste 
I simply cart it and then I paste it. Great. So that will be get all that our CSS and the images. And now I'm going to update that our JS file, which will be needed. You can see there is all the JS file. Okay. Of course, you do the same. Only you have to add that our asset, asset, and that is our asset. Okay. Here now we have to update all that our JS as well. I cart it, and now I select, select, select this one, select it, select it at a time with pressing that control. I want to do, I want to at a timely add all the things in here. And then I paste it. Great. You can see at a time every, our mm, JS file link is added. Now one by one we have to update. Now click the cart and then paste. And also that will be into the asset. Cart it and then I paste it. And then cart it and then paste it. Okay. This is another one. Cart it and paste it. There is another one. I cut it, and then here I'm going to paste it. Cut it and paste. There is another one. Paste it. Simple all that process. Cut it and then paste it. And also there is another one. JS. I cut it, and here I paste it. That will be another one. I cut it, and here I paste it. So it's a little bit boring job, but I hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do. Here our asset is missing, so I want to do and to make it. That will be as an asset, okay, asset, and then here we have to do. We have to add this part. I simply cut it, and then here I paste it, and then I cut again. That will be here in our asset area. Cut, and here I paste it, and that is our last one. Great. So I simply update it. Okay, friend. I simply update. Great. So here I updated our all that asset. That means all that our JS file, um, and then I get all that our CSS and the images. Okay. Now I want to do. I want to segment it. You can segment it in different way. In project, I have already discussed about that things with you. How can segment with the header, with the footer, with the sidebar, right? Now I only want to do for this theme, okay. Everything I want to do, I want to take in our index and CSS and the JSS file, I want to add it in our master. Simple work, okay. Like if you go, that is our master, and you can see there is a warper is started, okay. So after that warper, that is our dev. I simply, there is a header part, I simply select everything before this and warper. That is also another message. You can see there is an and wrapper. So now I simply cart it everything from here. So you can see there is our total dev. Okay, so that is our total dev. Now I want to do I want to cart it and in our index into this index area here. I want to do paste. Okay, I simply paste. Great. So that will be our which part? That will be our el part, right? So if you want to make that as a el, then that will be as a add the rate and then el, el. So that will be el and here I pass one of the id as a admin id. Great. Perfect. Now we have to also extend our this master in our index. So if you want to add it, first of all, here we have to add that as a add the rate extend. Okay, extends extends our um, our file name. File name that is in our admin folder, and then our file name here in our admin folder. I have created that name as a admin master because into this admin master I have already updated all that our CSS and the JSS, right? So now I want to want to add it. That will be the admin and then our admin underscore master. So that is our file name. Great. I simply added and also I want to add another section. That will be the section, a section and section ID. I name it as a admin because in our admin, that means in our EL part, I put add that ID as a admin. So now that will be as a admin, right? I hope it's very clear. Now we have to also end this session. So that will be started and that will be our and position. Okay. So now that will be as a and and section. Okay. So that will be the and section. Great. Great. Now everything is great. Everything is great. So there is our total part. And now you can see there is a spelling mistake. That will be the extend. <laughs> extend sad bin. Great. Great. Perfect. So now I want to do I want to hmm, that is our dashboard. That will be our dashboard, right? So I want to do I want to create our this method as a dashboard method in our admin controller. So you do this admin controller now I want to create another method that will be as a public and then function and then our method name. 
and into this method area here i want to do and to return on the view page okay return view page return view page that will be who which one that will be in our view admin folder and that is our index right i want to turn to load this file that will be the admin folder and then the index great now everything will be more clear okay i make it as a and method now as i told you everything will be more clear <laughs> step by step click the save all now go there and now if you want to access it like here i have already put that our path name or path name for the dashboard will be as a admin that is our prefix name and then that is a dashboard right i want to turn to access it in a local host i refresh this page and now if you access that as a admin and then slash dashboard click as a enter hmm you can see it's now successfully loaded our everything okay perfect it's now perfectly get all that our css jss everything from our which page that is from our admin master right because in our admin master i have already separated uh, i have separated our um, all that css and the jss will be in here and that will be our el part and into this el part area i have already added that header you can see as i told you if you want to extend that header you can extend it so that is not my main vision for this section i have already covered it in our project okay i simply want to focus in multi-authentication system so here i simply created and also now I want to work in here okay i want to create another file in our admin folder for the logging okay so that will be for the logging i create a new file i name it as a save as and i name it as admin underscore logging okay logging dot blade dot php so admin logging page will be our this template logging page okay here first of all i want to turn to open it with the sublink text editor logging dot html i copy everything and then here i paste it okay so here right now only we have to update that path our path will be in the same concept asset right that is our asset and then we have to update that all that our css class i simply cut it and then here that will be another one with pressing that control at a time i want to make it as a fast okay so that is another one i simply paste it great and now also again the boarding job we have to done then i paste it i cut it and then paste it i cut it just see my videos and practice it friend practice okay as i told you a lot of the time lot that is one of the requested section i have created for you a lot of students ask me about it how to create um, how to make that multi-authentication system easy way because the uh, stream is a little bit tough for the reason actually i have created this our section and into this section we'll actually create multiple one not only that admin will create also the seller okay if you want to create some of the multi-vendor side you can actually able to create it right now step by step we'll also update our total course with this but right now i want to update that authentication okay now there is another another part that will be the same as the asset that is the asset and here i want to do I want to update the same things so i simply cut it and then that will be one two three four five and six another one another one there's so many files actually so right now i'm actually using this theme okay now there's another one i paste it great now one by one we have to update i simply cut it and then paste it so with this it will actually get all that our css and the js okay i want to done to paste it and also i cut it that's usually the same as our admin better and do to copy it right there is the same file you can see the same file better i copy the total things okay copy it and now in our locking for the locking jquery here i want to do and update perfect so right now our jquery that means js file is now successfully updated and css is also successfully updated okay now if you click the save all and now on to do to access out this admin logging when this ad will be as a logging in our index method so into this index method here i want to do to load out this page so that is in our admin folder and our file name as admin um underscore logging like right? so that is our logging page right now that should be perfect now if you click the save all and now if you want to access out this logging that will be the admin and then login right that is a prefix name and then that will be the locking now click as the enter now that should be loaded our locking page yes yes you can see it's not successfully loaded our logging page and here that should be on the image um, in our admin logging 
from the image like you can say there is an image so i'm going to update that image that will be lucrative okay that will be as an asset here i want to make it as an asset asset and then you want to do and to update this path okay i simply cut it and then here i want to do to paste it now that should be display or this button now click as a, that means image click as save all refresh Hmm, you can see it's not successfully display this message so friend also a lot of students ask me about it how to show some of the authentication message okay that means if this user and the password is not match then that should be display some of the message when this user will be successfully logging then that will be display one of the logging message when that will be user will be as a logout how can display the logout message okay how can display all that message step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.